happening today? Where are we going? Uh, so today we're going down to um, Staniel K or the area around Staniel K, major big spot, and trying to find some swimming pigs perhaps, mm -hmm. um, and get some protection because it's, it's pretty windy. We've got 20 plus knots of wind and some swell coming from the west, even though we're sailing behind the western side of the islands, so protect, protected from most of the swell. It's going to be quite a bumpy, probably motor sail to windward, I would think. For three hours. Hurrah! Hurrah! <laughs> so that'll be our, that'll be as far as south as we go down the back down the Clumbers, and then we're turning around and heading north from Nassau. But why are we beating the 25 knots of wind? Because we're pigs. We're pigs. Is it really worth it? <laughs> um, well. Right, isn't it? it would be worth it if they didn't bite. <laughs> Somebody told me the pigs bite you and I'm a biscuit. <laughs> I was really excited before and then I'm like, I don't get bit. And they climb in your dig. If, if, you if you get to the place and they climb back. So we got a plan to basically go and anchor and observe for a little while and see how aggressive they are. Yeah. yeah. Is it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> At least we're not the only ones doing this today. I think we've sailed into a holiday brochure. I just keep thinking I feel really guilty for being here. <laughs> because it's so bloody nice. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> oh, the colour of the water. Raspberry ice pops, like he says. How's it coming along? Yeah, pretty good. Your t-shirt's almost exactly the same colour as the sea. Yeah, have you seen the back of it now? <laughs> and everything is just falling apart. This is what happens where you go to sea and you don't buy any, <laughs> any clothes for three, for three years. years. <laughs> so what are all the birds squawking about then? I don't know, I think that the blowing on the, the conch shells is a thing for the rest of the Caribbean, that means the fishermen have just got in with something. So. Yeah, but it was really loud, that honking. Yeah. It was like the, they were all setting off their... Um, the boats were actually honking, you know. It, yeah, but it wasn't boat horns. I don't think it was boat horns. I haven't seen a fishing boat come in. No. Anyway, we've got our own fish. We don't need any from the contraman. No. I think uh, we've confirmed it's Spanish mackerel now after asking the internet community. <laughs> Lovely, lovely, sort of flavourful, quite, you know, quite firm. It's like a cross between mackerel and sea bass and cod, I think. Yeah. Very, very chunky, but delicious. It is. So we're just moving this morning. Um, basically, the wind's going to come round all day and uh, make it a bit choppy where we were anchored. Um, we've got some jobs to do on board and some editing and stuff, so... We thought we'd move round to the other side of Big Major's spot um, and give us a bit more protection. So we've got quite a lot of tide with us. We've got two lots of tide with us already. Right. So when we get to this gap, it's going to try and push us through really quick. I can see white water ahead of the gap. Yeah. Okay, we've chickened out because the... The current's running too quick already. Yeah, it's really running hard past there. So we're going to anchor here instead, which is very nice. Cool. I know the Pretty flat as well. Yeah. And because the tide's running so strong, whilst we've been trying to anchor, what's happening is the back eddy is pushing our back end back round that way, whereas the wind's coming from pretty much that way. So we need to put the mizzen sail up. Um, which will help the wind push our back end round and then we can dig the anchor in. See the tide on the water there. Absolutely pouring out, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I quite like it. This is, um, for us now, this is the first 
re-encounter with um, with tides and current movements. Really, I mean, I know there are, there are sort of there's currents that we've dealt with, but no no tidal movement here. There's a meter in the Caribbean. You're talking about in the Caribbean, yeah. But now in the Bahamas, there's a meter up, meter down each each tide. And obviously, with these narrow caves, you can get some fairly intense, strong tides, and you could really you're looking to move through the, the cuts at either high or low, depending on your draft. And that one, that one, we can't get through at low tide. No. I've just missed high tide. Yeah, and funny enough, another guy I saw turn around and do the exact same as we did. Yeah, I think he, yeah, I think he's being hopeful like us that we might just get through today. But we'll get through tomorrow morning. If the tide will be an hour later, it'd be easier. Yeah. This is quite nice. We've got um, a bit of rain. It's good because it's washing down the boat. It was so caked in salt from the last um, couple of sails, and we hadn't had any any rain for ages. So this is really nice. Uh, it's giving us a bit of an opportunity to catch up with some editing. Or well, Nikki is. She's down there working away. Yep. I'm going to get the brush out and start scrubbing the deck. I think. What was that? Shall I make us some soup? I'd love some soup. Oh, I've gone all bog boggle-eyed. Goggle-eyed? Goggle-eyed. Goggle-eyed. Whew. You can only do like two or three hours and then I guess you got to get up and you do something else. get brain damage after that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll make us some soup, I think. Can you spot what's wrong with the anchor? <laughs> um, how's that happened? <laughs> um, I'm guessing it must oh be God. a rock or a bommie up there. As we've swung round, somehow we've tripped that <coughs> the anchor out of how we set it, and it's but now it's looped round. I would think it's a coral head, which is a shame because we like the coral heads. So we're not dug in at all. Well, no, it would take us to unhook from that and then start dragging backwards, but it is sand. I mean... But the tyres started coming out already. Yeah. Going out already. And there's not much wind now, but basically, if we drag back, we're going to hit that before we dig in again. Might do. So we've got to up angle. Yeah, the choices are... Leave it as it is and hope for the best. You won't sleep if we do that. Um, not with that anchor alarm on. I don't want to go, re anchor another night. Yeah, we could go through the gap over there, mm -hmm. which we tried to do this morning. I've already seen one boat go through, and as it gets nearer high tide, the current against us will be less, so that'd be an option. Or just re anchor here. Um, can I have a beer first and think about it? Yes, you can. <laughs> Been hard editing all day for like eight hours. I'm Go and goggle eyed. This might help. So, this morning we're just trying again, like we did last night, to come round the back of a big major spot and anchor on the inside. And the tide is what, an hour before high? Yeah, about that. Yeah. Five minutes before. So, we're just coming through here now, and it runs through that narrow gap really quite hard. Yeah, it must be two knots of tide against us. But last time we were late, so it was two knots of tide with us. And that would just, if there's an obstruction, you can't just edge up to it and go, oh, it's that way or that way a bit. You've got to um, just get pushed through. You just get rammed through and, and hung up on a whatever's there. So. It does get really shallow. I think it's it. <laughs> Exciting before breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going through this narrow cut. <laughs> yeah, the water's going the wrong way. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. 
He wants a belly scratch, I think. He's a bit ribby, but skinny. Well, do you want to give him some... Give him some apple. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can help both as in on our boat. If you can guarantee they'll stay that size or smaller, yes, absolutely, you can have a boat pig. I can't think of a better life, to be honest. Just totally cool down. That's a bit grumpy. Yep. So we think these are nurse sharks, and I'm wondering if that's the same as what I saw the other day. I want to get in and swim with them. Yeah, if I'd known that it was a nurse shark. Well, we're not, we sort of don't know. Yeah, it was more the way it approached us, because it like, was cleaning away, cleaning the bottom, and then just you got a glance, and it was it came up the other side of the hull, and it just literally came round the rudder right in front of Nikki, and, Obviously, she jumped out, screamed shark, and I followed straight out of the water. <laughs> no, it's not good enough. I don't like no, it here. I think we should find another beach. Yeah, this one doesn't, you know... Yeah, it just sucks. Yeah. <laughs> There's even, you know, a swing, I mean, and a bench, and no one else here. I mean, it's not, it's not our sort of beach, No, I don't it? like the crowds. No. It's probably private, but, you know... <laughs> and the water's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Ben's trying out his scuba gear that he got in St. Martin. I can't believe how heavy this is. I feel like I'm just going to sink straight to the bottom. Well, you're supposed to, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, if it doesn't work? <laughs> right, are you getting it? Because I can hold my breath for about a minute, OK? So if, I'm, no, if I don't surface it, then I put some air in this bottom. I'll be able to see you. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> put your broken uh, flippers on. Put your fins. You've got your mask that steams up, your tank that hasn't been tested, I reckon you're set. Oh my god! You haven't sunk! <laughs> ben can definitely finish cleaning the bottom. I think I'm going to need weights. I've got some. <laughs> like one of those wind up things you get in the bath and you're a kid. <laughs> <laughs> this is how not to go scuba diving. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to go and get my paddy. <laughs> Thank you.
just arrived to the uh, entrance to Compass Key and the tide is pouring out, isn't it, Ben? Uh, yeah, we've hit it mid flow. <laughs> so it's a bit dodgy. It is a bit. All that water movement is just from the tide pouring out against us. In that white water there, there's about five, six quite big rocks that um, they dry, they're dry rocks, you hit them. But I can't see them in the white water. I think we're past that bit now. But then there's another like, reef. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, and a rock quite close to the side, but I'm clear of that now. So we're heading in uh, around the corner, you can just about see the masts. The other side. Whoa, it's rolling and we're in there. So we're headed uh, just where those boats are and that's there's a very, very narrow entrance so that's the end of that reef there. And then there's a dark bit in the water which is actually the deep bit and then it goes very, very pale for quite a long time and that's kind of like a big sandbank, like a shifting sandbank so we're headed for the very, very small bit sort of here. There's a boat coming out I think at the moment. That's the big sandbank. So there's probably only about like a metre of water or less there. Oh, we're getting pushed around everywhere. And that's the reef. Whoa! And we've got an anchorage all to ourselves! Woohoo! I think we need to find a two meter deep spot, we should be fine. Yeah, right near the beach then. Yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it, here? It is very nice. <laughs> we can climb up to it to get to the top of this little rock. Yep. This is possibly the first island we've been to where the beaches aren't completely covered in plastic, which is really nice to see. But I suspect it's because we're on the inner side of the Exumas rather than the Atlantic side. So we're leaving Compass K and we are off to Shroud K today. Start motoring because there's zero wind, so it's really, really, really hot. Um, Ben's got bored and got up the mast. All right. Oh, well, he's uh, spotting for sharks because we've decided we're too hot, and in a minute we're just going to anchor and go for a swim because everywhere's like five meters. So, yeah, the joy of a shallow passage means you can stick the anchor down anywhere and cool off. Yeah. 
I'll just tow you along for a bit. Smelly, isn't it? It is a little bit um, wet, it well, smells... damp seabed, heated in the sun smell, isn't it? it smells like a um, well, forward head. So that must be drinking water then. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it? I've got a big full bottle of water with me, so. Yeah, we're good. Cool. All right, well, we found a well. I don't know if there are any other walking things on this island. Well, it is Friday after all. Coconut martinis. Mm -hmm. Love this time of night and the colours. My favourite. Ha <laughs> ha